Off the top of 10, a breaking news update after immigration officials drop off more than 100 migrants at a Lower Valley church. I'm Daniel Money. And I'm Natasha Paloma. Tonight, the church says it's in need of help to care for the migrants. KTSM 9 News reporter Cesar Vasquez live in the Lower Valley. More than 100 migrants were dropped off here at the Camino de Vida Church in the Lower Valley. Take a look. The church gave them a quick word before now they're heading off to bed. As you can see, some donations have already been given by the community. That includes toiletries and clothes. But the church is asking for your help with more donations. In three buses, ICE dropped off migrants from Honduras and Brazil. At about 4.30 this afternoon, the church opened its doors. They tell KTSM they were told by a friend of the church that the migrants had nowhere to go. So now they're asking asking for donations. Among them, blankets, waters, food, and sleeping bags since the church does not have many beds. Centro Cristiano Caminos de Vida Church also says they've already been getting donations from the community, but housing migrants is something new to them. No, this was out of the blue. We, um, uh, we don't, um, they just called us and we said we'll do it. We'll, we have our church. Um, it's, it's big enough to house. At first we were told there was going to be 50. Then we were told there was going to be 100, but there's obviously more than 100 refugees here. The church said they have no funds helping them. Cabrera says volunteers are having the migrants borrow their phones so they can get in contact with their families to make arrangements. The church says they'll house the refugees until they're able to go outside of El Paso to their sponsored locations, one of those being North Carolina. Live in the Lower Valley, Cesar Vasquez, KTSM, 9 News. All right, thank you, Cesar.